Okay, so I wanted to take you through my NFT and basically tell you a bit about what the meaning of it is. Um, I love it as like a visual piece, but there's so many more layers that have gone into it and so much time and detail and, um, and women's stories really. Um, so I kind of just wanted to explain. So basically I decided to name it Women after my shows. Um, if you have never heard about what we do, um, one of my favorite parts about it is that um, twice a year we hold a huge show and um, it's called um, Women and we invite between 20 and 50 women to walk naked on a catwalk and um, they're covered in paint and it's in front of a crowd of a thousand people and it's honestly the most incredible, humbling, fabulous day ever. And um, I really wanted this, like my start into this digital world to kind of like um, be like a thank you to those amazing people that made that happen. And because their impact was so, so great on so many people. Um, so yeah, so that's why I named it so. The NFT is a scan of my naked body. So I went to a professional 3D scanner. Oh my God, still, I can't believe it. Like I had to get naked in front of my team. Like looking back, I still, <laughs> um, so confronting, but um, I did it in the name of art. And yeah, so this is actually me. The concept of this piece is all about the evolution of the nudie era. So I begin this NFT and it starts with like a wireframe that builds up from the legs and builds up up into my arms. And I don't know, I really like the fact that this kind of like black metallic looking structure looks very industrial and looks as if it's just like like the beginning skeleton of something and it's growing and it's building and yeah I just as you can see like it, you can you don't really know what it is at first and the body's flipping from side to side and then all of a sudden you realize what it is a bit this next part we actually physically poured paint onto a sheet of paper we recorded it and then that like image well that video was coded onto the side of my body and you can see those kind of like very organic drips and it looks like me it looks like I've done it and like that was important for me to like build into this like digital world that it still was like very much my painting in its essence so um so yeah the drips kind of like fall down me the colors of the drips I was playing around what I wanted like maybe I was like thinking maybe I should go pink but then I just thought do you know what like these holographic elements keep propping up from like they keep propping up in my work and the reason that they do and I believe the reason that I'm like continuously drawn to them is because they're like changing nature I love the way that if you look at it from one direction it's one color you shift your direction it's another like that change of perspective when you look at things is also like it means something to these women as well like you can look at yourself and feel a certain way but if you flip your mind to more of a positive mindset and you're surrounded by people that are lifting you up you're going to feel better and yeah i i love it i mean the holographic looks so cool as well and the next part is my my favorite thing uh, my favorite thing about this nft and i didn't know it would be possible but we have managed to get the actual live stream of the nude women walking down the literally look this is this is the lady here she's covered in paint she's bounding from side to side she's like empowered she's walking down this catwalk and it's like literally like projected in my own torso and i just think that blend of like these amazing women being part of this like digital project like these these women are the reason like this exists and it's to be honest it's the reason this entire like this the studio exists like it, they have inspired me to like tell their stories and it's been such a privilege and it was just not an option for me to just not to have them in this and oh my god it looks so cool the next part this is happening right now is i'm turning into a marble statue and it's dripping down this was so important to me because like i feel like when I reached this huge crescendo with the nude women shows, I was, it was like such a life 
peak. It was just such an amazing, amazing thing. And I felt so secure and I wanted like to use a material that felt like it was like the most, you know, like a, like a Roman pillar. Like I wanted it to look like that kind of vibe. And it, it kind of like represents to me that I was in a place of feeling that I'm like totally like living my purpose. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just like this I, is what I'm meant to be doing and I've done it to the best of my ability and I'm so happy. And kind of that's why I wanted to turn my body to like this white stone to give that kind of like longevity. It's gonna, this is gonna be, this is gonna exist forever. I may be gone or like my art may move on, but this movement will still always exist. One of the things that I can say is still the nudie WhatsApp groups that we have, they're still buzzing every day. Like these friendships have been formed between these women. Like I'm going for lunch with them next week, like in Sydney. And no doubt when I go back to London, I'll see all the girls there again. Like, I don't know, it's just such a weird thing to explain, but the bond that we have and like this kind of lifetime friendship that we've created. And that's kind of what I wanted to put across in that, in the marble piece. I also believe that if you're gonna grow, you have to constantly try and push the boundaries. And if that means shattering something, then it means shattering something. And this piece is reflective of my creative process. I'm building up from a wireframe. I'm trying to take the stories. It's coming together. I'm using the paint. I'm using the color. I'm, you know, it's changing perspective. I have this show. It's all about the women. It's the catwalk. And then, you know, the, the idea is finalized. I'm getting all this validation. The sales are coming in, whatever. And then what's next? Do you know what I mean? And I wish I didn't have it in me, but like I do. And I keep wanting more, I guess. And I know that's something I think I've maybe got to deal with in my life in a separate way, but like I needed, and also I want to be the biggest artist I possibly can. And I, I feel like with the women, I, did all that I possibly can. And I don't really believe in that as a concept because I always think, yeah, you can push for more and more and more, more. But like, I just felt it was so perfect. And it just, as it existed at that moment in time, in society, in life, in my artistic journey, I get a bit emotional saying this, but like, it was like, perfect. And I wanted it to stay like that in that like solid, like statuesque moment forever. So, for you to grow again you need to break like you can't keep doing the same thing over and over again and this is what i'm finding like right now in my artistic life like i'm still like in this phase i'm just trying to sorry i'm blabbing on i don't i don't even know this is probably gonna get cut but like i just feel like i'm just in this stage i'm trying to like uncover what the next version of me is and this like metamorphosis of like reforming I'm actually sounding quite art wanky, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but like, like the shattering. This is where I'm now, these like shards are suspended and they're floating in space and I don't know what I'm doing and I'm in this like weird like, like no man's land like weirdness. And then they fall and it starts again. So yeah, I hope that gives you some insight about the the effort that's gone into this really and the, and the thought and me wanting to really do it this whole era justice and now it's time for the next chapter but yeah digital artwork who knew